Hi everyone, this is Matt again. This is part three of the Know Your Numbers series talking about glucose or blood sugar level. The normal blood sugar level range is 70 to 125. Very important to know. One of the leading risk factors for heart disease is poor control of blood sugar, also known as diabetes. So anyways, very, very important to uh, control your blood sugar and the general way to approach that <clears throat> is to have a good balanced diet of not too many um, calories, first and foremost, such that you uh, maintain an ideal weight. So before I go too far, I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. This is the pancreas. This is maybe one of the most important organs that you want to know a little bit about. The pancreas <clears throat> sits in, kind of parked in your intestines there, and produces insulin. It has other functions, but the islets of Langerhans, which sounds like a place that you might want to take a vacation uh, to, but it's not, uh, produces <coughs> insulin and as you can see it kind of brings it right into your intestines. And the critical role of insulin is bringing the fuel of your cells to the inside of the cell. Without the insulin, it's like a gas truck that never shows up at the gas tank. Um, it, you just don't have the energy to uh, operate the motor of your life, which is every single cell in your body. So, very critical to uh, maintaining the health of your whole body every everything in your body is a cell whether it's your eyes your skin your heart your lungs everything depends upon the delivery of glucose into the cell so it can fire up and do its thing whether it's your eye or your hair or your muscles or whatever it needs energy and without the insulin to do its thing, uh, to bring the glucose into the cell, cells die. That's kind of the bottom line. So we're back talking about weight again. People who get to be much above their ideal weight are at extraordinarily higher risk for diabetes diabetes being a disease where the body, the pancreas specifically, is uh, unable to meet the demand uh, placed upon it. So if you keep your weight close to its ideal level, you are more likely not to have diabetes. It's as simple as that. So it's important even at a relatively young age to get your blood sugar checked. Go to your doctor. Get a checkup. Everybody should go and get a checkup once a year or if you're younger maybe once every 18 months but not to get checked is not a good idea. You should have your blood pressure checked. All these numbers you should know. You should know your ideal weight you should know your blood sugar. And since we've only gone to part three, I won't divulge the other two parts. <laughs> That's a surprise. So, eat a healthy diet. Maintain your ideal weight or close to it. Get your blood sugar checked. And if it's between 70 and 125, you're cool, you're okay, you'll be fine, and you're probably not gonna have diabetes. But if you do, diabetes is um, a very, very serious disease that will cause many lifestyle changes 
if you want to manage it well. If you don't, then you're faced with this dynamic of not having enough uh, insulin, not having the blood sugar going to, into the cells, and then you'll have problems with your eyes, you'll have problems with your skin, you'll have problems with your whole body, and you don't want that. So, anyways, that's part three, blood sugar. And be sure to keep your blood sugar between 70 and 125, then you're cool, okay? And that's the end of part three, blood sugar, in the Know Your Numbers series. Bye.